From a new program aimed at kindergarten readiness to healthy changes to school lunches, the West Lafayette Community School Corporation Board covered several topics tonight. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us with more on how West Lafayette hopes some schedule changes will also help kindergartners succeed. Brittany? Dan, West Lafayette board members passed several motions aimed to help kindergartners tonight. First, they allowed the Born Learning Academies to use school property. As you may remember, United Way leaders introduced the program at last month's annual joint school board meeting. Perhaps the biggest piece is that 150 families in Tippecanoe County will get more hands-on training in Born Learning Academies taught by teachers. United Way says more than 40% of five-year-olds enter their first day of kindergarten unprepared, either academic academically or socially. The board also passed another step designed to help kindergartners be ready. Starting this fall, they will ease into the new routine of moving up to kindergarten. Children have a little bit of time to uh, get acclimated before they hit the, hit the uh, classroom full time. So it'll be a couple of day transition where it'll be a smaller chunks of time and then we'll keep adding uh, to their schedule. The board also learned more about changes coming to school lunches next year. Because of the Healthy Hungry Free Kids Act, the corporation must reduce sodium by 10%. This means spices will be substituted for salt, there will be more cooking from scratch, and salt shakers will be removed from the cafeterias. Also, the corporation is looking to provide breakfast at the two elementary schools. Food Service Director Jim Tyner says nurses are noticing that kids are hungry and they are given snacks to hold them over. Dr. Killian is also moving forward with the promotion of the documentary Rise Above the Mark. He says they have been invited to screenings from organizations like the National School Board Association and Harvard. Brittany Tyner, News 18.